this woman has come up in the comments a lot. I've never heard her before. She's from Brazil and apparently she's got a bit of a samba vibe. Oh, by the way, if you would like to check out a cover of me singing, uh, I have done a cover of Wicked Games by Chris Isaac. It's also on Spotify and I would love if you could check it out and let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> not expecting this. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. I did not expect that. There is a certain sound that you get from a lot of Brazilian and Latin artists. That's not this. This is like jazzy. It's got that little samba edge at the same time, but it, it, at its core, it's warm. It feels like something from an era gone by. I think this is probably in the 90s, but it seems like, you know, she should be singing in kind of 1940s with all the Da, 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 da. those big slides and that really fast wobbly vibrato and then um, I love her control of the grit that she has in her voice the first half was so smooth and slidey it was like silk or velvet or some sort of soft material and the second half she introduced a little bit of fry in there uh, was that sort of gritty edge way better than I just did there and it gave it that kind of punch that edginess that 90s oh, grunginess just a tiny 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 touch of that it's a beautiful beautiful mix <laughs> So this means if you are British, even though we wished in English, is the name of the song. Feels like grit. Very cool. So it's all about the sliding within this kind of jazzy style instead of. That sounds, I mean, it does sound jazzy because of the scale, but it sounds kind of a little bit earlier. If you get that big into it, it makes it seem, it's a bit more crooner, a bit later, a slightly bit more modern. If that, that's not even a sentence. It's a little bit more modern. Not 90s modern though, maybe more... 50s rather than kind of 20s and 30s. This song was actually originally written in Italian for a singer-songwriter called Pino Daniela and um, she made a cover in Portuguese. It means even though we wished and it's beautiful. <laughs> I wonder if she trained in jazz. I like how sometimes she's a little bit behind the beat as well. So dead on. Now. 
So just pulling ever so slightly behind the beat is something that happens a lot in swing music. It's something that Frank Sinatra did all the time and in lots of styles of music it feels uh like you're kind of dragging but something about it just makes it uh a little bit i think it just works with the syncopated rhythms it makes you feel a little bit lazy a little bit more relaxed and i don't mean lazy in a bad way just it makes it feel kind of chilling and smooth <laughs> but she's mixing and matching that Like here, she's dead on the beat. Mm, bluesy. dynamics to end. Beautiful, beautiful voice. Love it. Well, thank you so much yet again for introducing me to a wonderful, wonderful singer. Uh, I am so blessed that I get all these wonderful comments and people text in and people email me with some fantastic uh, new artists that I would never know otherwise. If you want to send more suggestions, all the details are down in the description or you can just comment on this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.